today for the Bitcoin price. And yes, guys, we are going to see a big, big break for Bitcoin within 12 to 24 hours. Yes, you heard me right. I did not plan to make this video at all, actually, but I pulled up the charts and I saw there is one breakout which is imminent. We've been waiting for it. Bitcoin was going sideways for ages. The days are counted, guys. And we are here on Sunday. So I can tell you one thing. The next move is most likely going to be pretty decisive for the next few days to come. And here we are talking about this ascending triangle, which now, of course, it looks like we are attempting a breakout, but this four hourly candle just opened. So it's not the time to go into like a crazy short position or something, but it's definitely the time to look out for the next Bitcoin price move. And yes, I am still in my trade. I am still in my multi-million, in fact, 3 million US dollar Bitcoin long position, right now raking in 700,000 US dollars in a profit. But I can tell you one thing, the time is ticking for the Bitcoin volatility. And yes, Bitcoin is extremely low in volatility going sideways for ages. But what we are talking about here it's a potential break of this ascending triangle. But that's not the only thing I want to talk about. Yes, this is the ascending triangle. Yes, the break is imminent. Yes, I want to talk with you about the price target here, which um, I, I, I'm going to pull it up a little bit later on. But I also want to talk about something which is very, very interesting. And let me quickly go back here. And that is something I just posted over on Twitter. Something people have to understand. And let me quickly go over here to Twitter. And what you can see... Oh, I didn't even post it. You know what? Let me post it here live for you. In the moment, I'm posting it. Bitcoin is closer than you think. And what I talked about, this breakout, which is imminent within the next 12 to 24 hours, that is something for the immediate short term. That is something for the next few days. But what we have to understand is the most important thing is the longer term. And this, the macro time frame on the daily, on the weekly, we are going to get a decision very, very soon. And I can tell you, short term, I don't know. Break out, break down, no, I don't know. Of course, we long the break to the upside. And if you want to short the break to the downside, that's fine. If you are a breakout trader, that's the immediate short term. But the most important thing is the mid and long run. And this is something I know. This is something where I'm, where I'm very, very sure about the direction. And let me actually go here and show you. So. What we talk about here, actually it is posting right now, the internet is not the best. What I was posting here is this. And here you can see the Bitcoin, the realized price. And this is something I've been talking about actually all the way since here, since 2018. On this channel, you can go back and check it yourself. I talked about the realized price and every single time the Bitcoin price, which is the black line, goes above the realized price. That is when we know, okay, bear market is over, bull market is starting. And this is actually every single time this happened, right? And eventually, after breaking above the realized price, we're coming closer and closer to this vertical line. And that verti vertical line is the Bitcoin halving. Every time we break out from the realized price, we go higher. We are getting closer to the halving. That is usually when the uphill run starts. That is usually when the big bull run is starting and why am i saying we are you're, we are closer than you think you can see usually the bottom is happening further and further apart from the halving what you can see here that is a trend of course every single time we are distancing ourselves a little bit further from the halving uh, from the halving with the bitcoin bottom this time it happened once again now we hit the bottom now we break broke out from the from the realized price pretty much exactly where i entered the long position and we also know that somewhere around, let me quickly go back here to the face mode, somewhere around, I think, April 2024, so within the next six months, give or take, the halving is going to come. And we also know that every single time, let's hope for this time to, uh, to, uh, to, for it to be the case again, we are front running the halving and we are distancing with the start of the front run more and more from the halving so it's happening early and earlier the the front run is getting less volatile with the time but it's also starting earlier every single time so in accordance to that within the next two three months this uphill run should start so that is why i'm saying we are actually closer than you think
And that is something I'm very confident in. Something I'm not so confident in is, of course, the immediate short term. I can't tell you 100% we are going to break out towards the upside here. What I can tell you is with a high degree of certainty, wow, why is, the, why is this tool not working? With a high, high degree of certainty, of course, the mid and long run is very, very bullish for Bitcoin. Now, let's put it together. If Bitcoin is breaking right here, 27,000, 26,940, with the four hourly candle, you have to understand this candle here right now, it must close below support for us to go short. If we are breaking this one here and we are closing the four hourly above, price target is 27,300. Of course, that is not very significant, but it would set the tone for the week to come and it would increase the likelihood for the follow through in the coming week to be bullish and for Bitcoin to retest the 30,000 US dollar price level way higher here, right? If we are breaking, however, this line here, if we are closing the four hourly somewhere below 26,800, it increases the likelihood of, an, of a furthermore retest of 26,500 and it will set the tone for a bearish week to come. That is why the up and coming breakout, even though, let me quickly go back, even though the price target is not the most significant, the most volatile, it will set the tone for the, for the week to come. So this is why the next up and coming move will be extremely crucial, extremely important to look out for. Now I want to know from you, what do you think? We are, are we going to break it towards the upside? Are we going to break it towards the downside? And what do you think about this beautiful chart here, which I talked about, I think 2019 or maybe even 2018, I think 2019 for the first time, the realized price, which is an on-chain metric for Bitcoin. Let me know down below in the comments. And of course, thank you every, everyone as always for liking, for commenting. I truly appreciate every single one of you congratulating me for the birthday, the last one. I saw all your likes, all your comments. It's very beautiful. And I truly appreciate every single one of you. I'm most likely going to come with the next video already tomorrow or the day after because it's very important to evaluate the beginning of the week because the beginning of the week might set the tone for the rest of the week and the rest of the week might set the tone for the remainder of October and then up November or pump November. Thank you so much for watching. Dear ladies and gentlemen, we are going to see each other very soon at the next one of Emma Crypto. As always, guys, as always.